Hello everybody, this is Denim Darlin and today I will be doing a boot cleaning video. These are my roughnecks and I am ashamed to say that I've had these sitting in my kitchen collecting dust for about one and a half years. They, um, the last time I used these boots I went on a hike so they were already covered in mud and dust and I intended to clean them shortly after, but I never did, I never got to it. And then I decided that I wanted to wait and clean them until I was able to uh, record a boot cleaning video. And lo and behold, it's been a very long time, time flies, but here they are. So it should be a masterpiece cleaning these boots because now you'll get to see what happens with a neglected pair of boots. Um, I'm really hoping I didn't damage the leather. I hope that after cleaning them and conditioning them, they look amazing and back to practically brand new. For this video, I will be using Phoebe's Distressed Leather Conditioner. This product was recommended by one of my viewers and uh, I've, I ordered this product a long time ago actually, so it's also been sitting waiting to get used. It's still in its uh, packaging. I just took it out of the box it came in. But this is the product itself. I will show you guys a close-up of these boots. They have cobwebs on them and probably spiders inside. And once again, layers of dirt, dust, and mud. So without further ado, here we go. All right, guys, here is a close-up of these boots. As you can see, there is uh, dust, mud, dirt, just like I said, there it was. Poor boots. There's a cobweb. I think I saw layers of dust on the inside too. Look at that, look at all that dust. Some bugs that have made a home there. I know this is a sin, everybody, but now it'll be a fun, fun project. And as you can tell, the heels are still pretty intact. Oh, Lord. <laughs> There's a dead beetle inside. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, babies. You guys have an idea now. And here is the conditioner I will be using. I'm excited to see how it'll work. All right, everybody, we're in my kitchen now and I have a little setup going. I'll introduce each product to you before I get started on the cleaning. Here we go. Today I will be using Red Wings Foam Leather Cleaner. Phoebe's Distressed Leather Conditioner. Red Wings Leather Protector. Red Wings 100% Horsehair Dauber Brush. Red Wings 100% Horsehair Brush. I have this other brush that I'm going to use for the outsole of the boot. I will be using a Trader Joe's sponge. 
And I'll fill this container with warm water and the foam leather cleaner. First, I am going to remove the laces. After removing the laces, I am going to fill my container with water and Red Wings Foam Leather Cleaner. The foam leather cleaner suggests that you add two capfuls of solution to three ounces of water. Before I start using the foam leather cleaner solution on the boot, I am just going to use this damp sponge to wipe it down. It already looks so much better. After rinsing the sponge, I am going to immerse it into the foam leather cleaner solution and clean the boot. I am going to rinse the sponge and repeat this step a few more times. Okay, everybody, so now I am going to continue with boot number two. I am going to repeat the same steps, remove the laces, wash off with a clean sponge, and then wash off with a foam leather cleaner. And I'm gonna repeat the foam leather cleaner a few times because there's a lot of dirt. Then I'll brush the sole with foam leather cleaner and then with a clean brush.
All right, guys, so I am done cleaning the boots. And before I apply the leather conditioner, I am going to let them dry completely. We'll see how long it takes. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, everybody, it's been three and a half hours since I let these boots sit and dry and they feel dry now. So I'm going to get started with the leather conditioner. According to Fee being stress leather conditioner, it says that leather should be clean, dry and at room temperature. And it says shake well before using. Apply leather conditioner with a soft, clean cloth. I'm going to use my hands. And then it says to allow to stand for 10 minutes after conditioned. Deep scuffs can be rubbed out using a deep massaging motion. And then to prevent circles and lines, entire boot should be treated at one time. I'm supposed to brush the boots after 10 minutes. So I'm gonna use a 100% horsehair brush for that. It also says to shake very well, which I forgot to say. Shaking it very well. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's shooken. I'll start with this one. I'm excited to use this. I'm curious to know what the differences are in texture with these all these different conditioners. Oh, this one's pretty liquidy. All right. I know these boots are very thirsty after sitting for so long. Filthy. I'm also going to make sure that as I'm adding the conditioner, I'm getting the leather welt because the poor leather welt is also very dry. I always feel so much better when I'm applying conditioners and they're a little bit thicker than this. This is so runny, but anyway, I'll trust that it's going to do the job it's supposed to do. Maybe there's no difference between the texture. Any experts out there on leather conditioners that can educate me, educate us? And the last place I am going to add leather conditioner to is the insole of the boot. I've read that it's a good idea to do it every once in a while so it doesn't crack. And because these sat still for so long, I feel like it's a good idea. Okay, it's pretty conditioned. I'm going to go ahead and let this one sit for 10 minutes and in the meantime, I am going to condition the other one. Let me start my timer. One thing that I'm definitely noticing is how quick the conditioner is being absorbed by the leather. Okay, the second boot is also done and there are five minutes left on the timer. Once the five minutes are up, I am going to brush the other boot with the horsehair brush. Okay, so that's the timer for the first boot. It's been 10 minutes. Now I'm going to set an extra five minutes for the other boot. Okay. Let's see how much this absorbed. 
well, it absorbed pretty well overall. The toe box seems like it's a little bit wet still compared to the rest of the boot. Let's see what the horsehair brush does to it. I'm applying a fair amount of pressure when I brush it. Whew, this is a good arm workout. Okay, let me get the second boot now and show you what this one looks like up close. Nice and neat. Look at that beautiful color. I am going to repeat the same thing with the second boot. Okay, here's the second boot. There are some scuffs I can't get out, but it's okay. I'm going to leave them. I'm going to put the laces back on. Okay, and the last step is I am going to spray them with a Red Wing Leather Protector. What do you guys think? So I um, I do like the conditioner. The boots look amazing. It feels a, a little tacky once it dries. So not bad, not bad at all. I, I'm very happy with it. I wonder what other conditioners would have done to these boots, but they look, they look fantastic. Thank you very much for recommending the Phoebe's leather conditioner. For the person who did, I am happy with the results. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that was helpful. I hope that was enjoyable. It looks like my boots are okay after all. They are survivors and I am stoked to finally be able to wear these beauties. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel. This is Denim Darlin and I have so much more content that I'm ready to post. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank you.